A brand new semester and brand new students will be starting medical school in a few weeks. So here are five things that I wish somebody had told me before I began medical school. So thank me later guys. What's cooking sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Arham and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Oslo in Norway. And as usual, all the timestamps will be in the description box below so you guys can skip through and watch exactly the parts that you want to watch. Now, let's dive straight into the video. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but guys, I believe that medical school is actually not that hard. I believe it's way too overhyped. An eight year study from 2006 till 2014 was published in 2015 at the University of Oslo, which showed that around 88% of, me of, of medical students who start medical school here in Oslo actually graduate as well. And the others who dropped out, dropped out due to non-academic reasons. And this actually also applies to USMD mainland schools in the US where a study showed that how the four-year graduation rate from medical school was around 84% whereas the six-year graduation rule was 86% and this shows that actually most people do graduate and the ones who do not make it actually drop out due to non-academic reasons which were listed as following like uh, health issues or family relationship problems or even or even the fact that they found out that medical school was not something that they wanted to pursue so yeah, the reasons were mostly non-academic. Now most people believe that medical school is this insanely tough or challenging part of your life where you will be studying six years non-stop and no free time, no leisure time, just you and your books non-stop for the next six years. That is not how it goes. Guys, I promise you it's much easier than that given the fact that you are studying using good techniques such as active recall and spaced repetitions. So you can watch my videos or any of the other videos by channels like Ali Abdal, Karma Medic, where explain efficient study techniques the point being that if you study consistently like one or two hours every single day then you can easily breeze through your exam period or, or breeze through medical school in general. The problem here is that getting into medical school is actually the hardest part but once you make it you already have what it takes to actually graduate or breeze through medical school as well. Now obviously there will be certain rough patches as well like in any other field for that matter as well but guys trust me it's it, it's in the best interest of the university or the medical school to keep you there not only for their own reputation but also for producing good doctors. They have these support systems like psychologists or you know advisors counselors or you know even training sessions gym sessions people who can help you out and you know really make the process much more easier because they don't want you to drop out they are doing everything or the university wants to do everything to keep you in medical school you have the option of retaking your exams you have the option of retaking your even semesters you have even the option of taking gap years while you are in medical school in case you get burnt out and then you can come back after one year or one semester of of medical school you can come back and then you know rejoin your classes right so they're basically doing every single thing they can to keep you in there because it's in their best interest as well now six years may seem like quite a lot of time but i promise you guys it is going to go super fast it's going to fly guys it seems only yesterday that i started medical school but now i only have 2.5 years left so time really flies so you better enjoy the journey and journal or document this entire process you don't have to be a youtuber you don't have to post everything on instagram maybe just write things down so that you can come back and watch or read those journals you know five years down the lane or maybe just take a picture or video um, of you, yourself talking, talk to the camera like the night before or the day before your exam so that you can go back and you know look at these things when you were a student and a medical a medical student and you know you really watch those entire things because I believe that journaling and documenting this journey is the closest thing possible right now to time traveling because that is pretty much what you are doing when you look back upon all these things so make sure that you enjoy the journey and really document or you know journal anything that you've seen in that seems interesting in medical school we humans always have this natural tendency to you know worry about the future when we are in college we want to be thinking about getting into medical school once we get into medical school we want to be thinking about you know residencies when we are in our residency we want to be thinking about becoming a consultant or an attending and then you know the list keeps going on so we you know really delay our happiness stop doing that just think about the current moment the situation that you are in right now and enjoy and live in the very 
present right enjoy the moment that you are in right now because this time is never going to come back you are probably never going to be a student again in your life you're probably not going to make any new like new lifelong friends which you will make in medical school who are luckily also going to be your colleagues guys so make sure that you do not worry about the future all the time and enjoy the process and i know this may sound crazy as well but think about the fact that you are taking exams as well you will probably never take any more exams in your entire life so these exams are also extremely fun opportunities for you to you know really document your life and you know just have fun with it and just think about everybody who wants to be in the position that you are right now everybody who wants to get into medical school but are not able to do so due to some reasons right so think about how lucky you are and enjoy the process that is like one of the most important things i want to say to every fresh medical student now all medical resources are on one side and on one side we have our seniors in medical school who have just been through the exact same thing that you are going through right now. They are going to be your best mentors. So make sure that you catch a senior and you don't really develop certain relationship or a friendship with those seniors which can really guide you through medical school because this is important right because they are at your exact college and they have been through the exam through the exact exams through the exact course materials they know the exact teachers and the exact system at your specific college or university so you want to make sure that you have some good contacts with seniors right so you don't don't be afraid to go up to a senior and ask for their notes notes or you know just their help and guidance because most seniors are actually pretty nice or generous i mean at least i am so yeah please come up to me if you are going to be starting medical school at the university of oslo yeah just come up and you know ask for any guidance or just you know just to, to, to say hi i would be really cool with that so and i think most people will be cool with that as well but here is the tricky part guys you want to make sure that you get to know quite a few individuals or quite a few seniors and not just one person and this is not because that one person's advice may be bad but that not, that may be bad for you so you want to talk to several seniors you know and see what they say about their own experiences and then you have to pick and choose the best advices from these different people so do not just stick to one individual but to different people and take the best out of their advices or their 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 you know experiences guys you don't need to know everything in medical school now most medical students are actually high achievers and are used to getting good grades and being the smartest in class right used to knowing everything but this is not going to last long in medical school i promise you because you know even though it might seem that everything is important or everything that you need to every every single material is important for you to save human lives that is not the case a lot of material that you learn in medical school will not be relevant in clinical practice so you can't possibly you know just start and learning every single detail that's not how it works it's okay to not know everything and the way i personally like to think about this is that i am okay with a b or a c on my exam instead of you know spending those two extra hours on studying just trying to get an a on my exam you know just trying to get all those other details down i would rather spend those two hours on my well-being or my on my on my wellness you know trying to make these youtube videos hanging out with, hanging out with friends hitting the gym you know making food just anything that makes me relax you know i i don't care about getting an a i want to know the main stuff and if i have any other any free time after i know the main stuff like the main important parts and this is also where the parkinson's law comes in so 80 percent of results come from 20 percent of the input so identify that 20 percent which will give you most of your um, grades right so yeah i try to really not think or worry about knowing everything because really there is no point in doing that the last point that i want to say is that you have to use online resources guys because there are plenty of amazing resources on on youtube and other on and other websites like you know dr najeeb ninja nerds sam webster for anatomy on youtube and other resources like ken hub also who are very kindly sponsoring this very video ken hub is one of the most popular online learning platforms enabling us to learn anatomy histology and radiology faster smarter and more effectively the platform is neatly organized into different and 
anatomic regions of the body and also involves active recall through quizzes for every single chapter that you learn. If you decide to access the premium membership, then you actually get a 10% discount through my discount code. The link will be in the description box below. That's a wrap for today, Sapiens. I hope you found the video useful and if you did, then you might also want to check out this video which will surely add some value to your lives. If you are going to be starting medical school, I wish you all the best and before you leave, hit the subscribe button because 78% of my viewers who are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace.